Hey guys, Icewire here and welcome back to another video here on the channel. I swear I just switched accents there, what the f- Huh? So as you know, it is April now. Do I have any April Fool's jokes planned? No. Seriously, no. I don't. I, I don't really do that stuff. <laughs> Me and April Fool's, considering my anxiety, just they just don't mish. They just don't mish mash. They don't do the monster mash. So it is another month here on the channel and I just wanted to quickly sit down and just have a chat with you all about where I'm at as usual. I do this like once, or I try to do it like once at the start of the month, uh, every month. So this is what that is. And first off, I just want to say hello and welcome to all of the new folks that have come in recently. So hi, hello, welcome. So if you are new, my name is Holly. Hi, nice to meet you. And yeah, that's what I do here. I make videos primarily about video games, things to do with video games and surrounding the topic of video games. And also once a month I do a little video about a random topic to do with autism because I happen to be autistic. So I never got around to making an update video last month and the reason why is because the uh, process at the moment I'm going through uh, you know, stuff for my K-1 visa, because if you didn't know, getting married, moving to America, it, it, which is actually kind of happening in like a couple months, maybe less, so pressure. And last month things like really kicked up a notch. I had to have a medical exam, which is part of the process, and the whole thing was a nightmare to deal with. Uh, maybe someday I'll talk about it, but just all you need to know is that that was a hectic day and afterwards I just really needed to recuperate because I spent so long planning for it and getting everything ready. Like I had piles of paperwork, it was ridiculous. And the actual uh, exam day itself was not great at all. Like it was an emotional day. So that's why there was no update that month but just because I was so swamped with personal life and preparing to move countries that I never got around to really prioritizing videos here. But I'm planning on switching that up for this month. As you probably noticed, I've been uploading more. Quite a lot. <laughs> My upload schedule, I don't... Who is she? I don't know. I really don't. But I do have some interesting things coming up for this month. And let's start talking about that, shall we? So, as I mentioned before, I didn't get around to doing a lot of things that I wanted to do last month. So, I'm making up for that with this month. So, in a couple weeks' time, the TISM Talk, which you don't know, is my funny name that I have for my bi-monthly autism series. That will be going up, or well, the next part of that will be going up uh, in a couple weeks. Which I'm excited about because I have a more lighthearted topic this time around. On the video games front, I have quite a few things planned. I was going to do a video saying like, oh, here's why you should give Assassin's Creed 3 a chance. You know, specifically like why Connor Kenway was a cool assassin, but the graphics for the remaster, ooh, oh baby, what did they do to you? Everyone looks like sour coleslaw, and it's not cool. I do have a couple of videos about Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, which I am excited to get into. At the moment, I am currently playing through Bloodlines 1, and considering that the Bloodlines 2 will be out uh, next year, I wanted to jump into the game. Once again, this is my first time actually being able to play it for myself, since the only way I had any knowledge of Vampire the Masquerade um, previously was through watching Let's Plays and uh, the LA by Night livestream. I've recently gotten into that and I like it. I like it a lot. So I do plan at some point when I finish the game just, uh, you know, just compiling my thoughts on what I think of it and, you know, the good, the bad and the silly and yeah. Good explanation, Holly. Well done. Well done. You're so good at this. Basically, it's going to be doing like a kind of a review, but also just kind of like a opinion piece on what I think of Bloodlines 1 and what I hope will be improved upon in Bloodlines 2. Speaking of Bloodlines 2, 
I will definitely be keeping all of you up to date with things that are happening surrounding news and information about Bloodlines 2 because I'm really excited for that. Oh man, there's, there's so many good RPGs incoming. I'm excited. I'm really ecstatic. So there'll be some Bloodlines 2 goodness on the channel this month and going onwards, basically. I have to say 12 year old me's fascination with Van Helsing and Twilight somehow, so I guess this is that but much more improved because I don't, I don't need to explain. I don't need to explain why. You know why. If I mention those two franchises, you know why. Man, I am really digging this aesthetic I have going on. It's like pastel witchy vampire. So there'll be Bloodline stuff on the channel along with other video games. Don't worry, I am not just focusing on Bloodlines. For you poor buggers that are now stuck with dealing with my new hyper fixation that is Bloodlines 2. Uh, I do plan on making a couple of other videos about two things in particular is what I want to get done this month. Number one, a video talking about games that I am excited for uh, this coming year and you know 2020. And considering what I've been excited about on the channel recently, you'll probably have a good idea of what's going to be on that list, but I want to highlight some games that I am Looking forward to both the AAA games and some more kind of indie titles. So that's number one. Number two. For the past few months now, I've been in the process for finding footage and information on a particular game that I used to like as a kid that I want to do like a full video coverage on because it's ridiculous on so many levels. Now it is the horse game that I've mentioned. Now if you're new here and you have no idea what the hell I'm talking about, Basically, the title of the video will be the darkest horse girl game ever. And basically it involves horses, foals, cute girly things, and attempted murder. This is a kid's game. Which is really ridiculous and it's why I want to cover it because not many people know about it. So I'm going to try and get that out this month. I'm really going to try. Uh, I've actually started finding footage for it, which is a mission. That is a mission, jeez. They, Ubisoft, Ubisoft published this game and they really did a good job of trying to like sweep it under the rug. So that's the video side of things that I will be focusing on for this month. Uh, as for personal life stuff, it's just more gearing up for my visa and honestly just making sure I sleep. <laughs> things are really kicking up a storm and it is very possible that I will be moving countries within the next two months. Which is a big deal because, you know, that's you're moving countries and there's marriage involved, you know, you, you can't take that lightly. So if I do falter, which I probably will at some point in time, because I already have, uh, if I do falter in uploads, I apologize in advance, but if I do, it's because I'm busy dealing with my visa shit. Because there's a lot, there's so much to deal with and it's kind of ridiculous, but it's all for a good cause and it will lead to better things in the future. Overall, you guys can expect the Tism Talk video in two weeks, uh, more Bloodline stuff because I'm excited about that game, and just more gaming videos and discussions uh, listed about here and there on the channel. Also, where I'm at with Let's Plays, I don't know anymore. I really don't. I think at, at one point, maybe when a certain game comes out, I would like to get back into it, but Right now, it's on the back shelf, and I am gonna keep it there for now. Just because it's just because I don't have time to play video games. Like me playing through Bloodlines One right now, that's the first time I managed to sit my ass down and enjoy a video game. And like, just I don't have time to like sit in front of a PlayStation and record, which is ridiculous. But you know, that's adulting for you. Oh shit! One other thing. One other thing before I go. For the first time in my life, since joining YouTube, I got paid by Google for views that you guys gave me. So thank you, because that's going right to my uh, immigration funds, because I'm going to be a broke bitch. So thank you so, so much. If you have just stopped by, if you subscribed, whatever, if you just hunkered down and watched a bunch of my videos, thank you times a thousand. Because this is going towards putting a roof over my head when I do eventually leave, so thank you so, so much. 
And also a big thank you to those that have supported me through Patreon. I really, really appreciate it. And if you do want to support the channel and kind of help me on this road to making better quality videos, which, by the way, my quality has upped recently. I've learned how to keyframe. I'm very proud of that. <laughs> but if you do want to support the channel, do check out my Patreon. Or if you just want to do like a once-off donation of $3, then check out my Ko-Fi. It's safe as houses, you just do a once-off donation and then boom, that's it. No monthly obligations, that's all you gotta do. It is def It has definitely been a really hectic emotional time lately, but you know, like I said earlier, it's all going towards a better, brighter future. And I'm gonna work my ass off to make sure I can make it happen. Consider supporting me on Patreon as it feels to grow for my content's quality and the variety and production of said content that you guys get to see all here on the channel. And of course, as always, a huge thank you to my current patrons. They are Cosmironic, Nicholas Montoya, Hasgirl, Cooladora, Kay, and Zapfinelch. And if you want to see your name shouted out at the end of the video like these guys, do hop over onto Patreon and have a look around at the cool rewards on offer. Or if you don't want to deal with the whole monthly subscription stuff, do consider checking out my Ko-Fi. If an easy breezy or once-off donation is more your thing, do check that out. Anyway, it's Icewire signing off and I'll see you introverts later next time on the channel. Have a lovely day, so that's tonight with you are in the world and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!